Hello, Jade here and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please press the red subscribe button and the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload videos. Okay, today is the start of my raw recipes. I'm gonna try and put a raw recipe up once a week. Today I'm going to be making what I call raw chicken salad. So, without further ado, boom ba -da -da, let's do this. Okay, the first thing that you need for the chicken is these king oyster mushrooms. Um, generally, you'll get them in an Asian store. Some supermarkets, I know in Australia, do have them if it's a predominantly Asian suburb. And what you do is you get your fork and you string it. See how it's coming out all sort of stringy? See that? It's like a chicken. So you just keep doing that. So once you've finished your look, see, it's all stringy and it really has got that sort of a chicken look. But the great thing is it's mushroom and it's cruelty free. So I've used two king oysters. The next thing I did was I juiced one lime. So squeeze all the juice in. Now you don't have to use a lime, use a lemon. I just cannot get lemons in Vietnam. Actually throughout Southeast Asia, believe it or not, they're really hard to get hold of. So I just use lime. So once you've got the lime juice, just put it through the mushroom. And this is really the start of your marinade and to help break the mushroom down. Um, lemon or lime has a sort of cooking effect when you're making raw foods. The next thing I do is add some Cajun seasoning. You can use chipolata, you can use smoked paprika, you can use whatever you want. I really struggle to get hold of spices here. And that'd be about a teaspoon. Haven't measured, I never really measure. So whack that on. Then minced onion because, oh my God, I love this stuff, I truly do. So it's about an, a teaspoon of that. Throw that on. I chopped up two green onions, throw them in, and a tablespoon of coconut aminos. It gives it a nice salty taste. I think, honestly, oregano or something like that would be nice like this too. I'm thinking of, I love the stuffing in, um, well, I used to, I haven't had it in over four years, in chicken. So it would have sort of like that stuffing sort of a taste. But nonetheless, I'm doing it this way. So once it's mixed in, it's sort of looking like this. Pretty friggin' awesome! So, what we do after that, get your dehydrator tray. I have to put baking paper on here. I've got a dreadful dehydrator, and I do, because back in Australia, I've got an Excalibur. But you know what? This cost me like 50 bucks, and it's keeping me raw and helping me, so... I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. Okay, and I just spread this out onto the dehydrator. This, I don't dehydrate this long. I am gonna put it in the dehydrator on about 110. Always make sure it's under 115 to keep it raw. And about an hour. And it's really just to give it a sort of a warm and a bit of a crispy taste and to get that marinade sort of really mm, tasty, so to speak. So there you have it. It's just all spread out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is make a creamy dressing. Okay, let's do this. Get your blender. I've got a high-speed blender. 
Ultimately, a high-speed blender is best because it breaks down everything. But whatever blender you've got, make it work. And believe me, anything can work. After being on the road for 14 months, I know that you get used to using whatever you've got. Okay, so first of all, I have a quarter of a cup of soaked cashews. If you don't like cashews or you can't have cashews or you won't eat cashews or they're not raw enough or whatever the thing is, use macadamia, use sunflower, use hemp seeds, use even tahini, whatever it is, you can use it. Not a problem. Even you can use some coconut meat. Not a drama. Okay. Green onions. I used two green onions. It was just under a quarter of a cup. Two peeled limes. Now, they're very small. I would technically only use one. Um, if you're not used to having whole limes, I love them. They're very alkalining, they're very cleansing to your body. But if you're not used to having these, I would suggest just juicing the lime and maybe adding in a little bit of water or something if you need to. So, wherever you're at on this raw journey. Four dates, these are dried dates. I cannot get medjool dates here. If you were using medjool dates, perhaps you might only want to use two. Um, these are a lot lower in calories than the medjool dates. Medjool dates are 70, 67 calories each. So go easy on them. Especially if you're like me. You can eat them and eat them and eat them. Now this is a whole zucchini. The reason I use a whole zucchini is I want this salad to be like a monster salad and I want it to be ultra creamy. But I don't want to use any more than a quarter of a cup of cashew nuts. So I'm bulking it up with zucchini. Zucchini is very bland in flavour so it's not going to overpower anything and it's almost like a creamy mixture once you blend it up. I've got about half a tablespoon of coconut aminos and that's just because I sort of like a salty sort of a taste in this and I've also got two tablespoons of nutritional yeast if you do not use nutritional yeast don't have a baby it's okay add a bit of capsicum or don't add anything just have it as a creamy dressing it doesn't matter it's raw it's your journey do whatever you have to do so I'm going to blend this up and this is going to be the sauce for my salad dressing. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to make the salad component. Now get a big bowl, a mixing bowl, and you'll need the mixing bowl and you're going to see why. So first of all, we've got our lettuce and I've got a big bowl, see it's pretty big, full of lettuce. Um, maybe six cups of lettuce. So shove that in there. I eat a lot of lettuce at dinner time. I have for a long time. I used to eat my lettuce generally during the day when I was back doing, dare I say it, Weight Watchers. But anyhow, Big salad like that, the lettuce. And here I have some celery. Don't you love my bowl? It's like a lime in there. Anyway, um, I've got about four stalks of celery, all cut up nice and diced. You can add whatever salad you like, just because I add celery. You do not have to have celery. So we add the celery in. Whole carrot, grated, because carrots rule. And this much tomatoes. These were cherry tomatoes. They're about oh, 12 cherry tomatoes. As I said, add as little or as much as you like. And here we go, a plate of capsicum or red peppers, as the Americans say, and some cucumbers cut up. Let me pour that in. So as you can see, this bowl, which is bloody huge, bloody huge, mate, as my daughter would say. We're going to mix this salad in. We haven't even started adding the dressing yet. But I'm just going to get this all mixed. Yes, I do use my hands. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Okay. Now you're going to see the fun stuff. Okay. 
Okay, so you get a nice little serving plate. I've got this little green number, which I like because it's green and green's my favorite color. It has been since I was a little girl. I'm a huge Gone With The Wind fan. Huge, massive, massive, massive. And Scarlett O'Hara took the curtains down before she went and saw Rhett when he was in prison, the Yankee prison. And she had curtain, um, she had a beautiful pea green dress made out of the curtains and she looked absolutely stunning. And from that day forward, green was my favorite color. People try to say, you took green because it was my favorite color. No, I took green because I love Scarlett O'Hara. And you can see the size of this salad, like seriously, most people would say this is enough for 10 people. Um, but I had, when I'm eating raw, I do have huge salads, huge salads, I kid you not. I have massive salads because it keeps me going. I'm gonna get all my nutrients in and then I'm loving life. All right, so we've got this huge salad. Then on top, I sprinkle the beautiful, beautiful chicken. I'm not even gonna call it chicken. I really hate saying that. I've got beautiful chickens that live just below in a Vietnamese style farm. They walk the streets. Um, and I love them. I love watching the mothers with their little babies and everything. And I just honestly, the love those mother hens have for those chickens. I don't understand anyone in 2018. You know, if you can be anything in this world, be kind. It's not hard. Be vegan. Okay. So I've got this beautifully topped. I'm going to showcase it and then we're going to pretty it up. Okay, so I've just added some dill on top and some spring onions. And there you have it. Oh, green onions, Americans call it. There you have it. The huge chicken salad. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're looking for perfection in a kitchen, you're never gonna get it from me. Um, I'm just gonna be winging these recipes out and doing it the best I can. But I hope you enjoyed it. I do have fabulous recipes. Anyhow, if you don't have a dehydrator, I just wanted to get this out. You can easily put the mushrooms out in the sun, make sure it's covered, of course, because of flies. And then, you know what? Just enjoy your salad, enjoy your life. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and most importantly, love life, live free, and be kind to you. Bye for now.